Sitting at the eight, the oh. cheese, Taryn. No. Salami. And then after the salami, Carenza. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of an egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started, I mean, he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. 
on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. hungry. <laughs> on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> okay, now, what did we learn last week about putting things in order? What is it called? Because we're going to go back and we're going to put things in order. What was it called? It starts with an S. Tamaya. Sequencing. Very good. We are going to go back and do the sequence of what happened in the story. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to try to remember it. Put on your thinking caps. Let's think about it. Let's see and think 